Good afternoon. It's 12.38 p.m. May 6, Eastern Time, Monday. This is Richard Pawson, and this is the Spot Cash S&P 500 Index with our model analysis. This is a weekly candlestick chart. And notice the model said that we have an L1 uptrend and then an L1 downtrend. And this was long enough for the L2 trend to show up as the most significant correction during the time of the L1 uptrend. <clears throat> then a second L1 uptrend is now underway. And this is counting from the November 2012 low, just ahead of the fiscal crisis concern going into year end. The model has forecast that the L1 trend will last into June. It is also forecast we should see at least 1640 to 1660 on the S&P. And at the pace that the market is rallying, I wonder, are those objectives too low? We might want to dial in as high as 1680 going into June, maybe even 1690. And we are going to see 1700 like some analysts are forecasting. Now, if we draw a trend line from a previous L1 top through the most recent L2 top, we can see the market stopped there last week, finished the week there. And so far this week, the market is just hugging that line. It's trying to decide which way to go for the week. Well, I'll show you in a moment on the daily chart, there is a chance for a setback, maybe even as low as the five-week average to 1592. I doubt it. I doubt it'll go under 1600. But there's a chance for a setback for a little short-term bottom before rallying. But what concerns me is that they were so bullish last Friday that there's a good chance that short-term bottom occurred Thursday to Friday. And this thing's on a brand new uptrend that could go well into next week. If that's the case, this is going above this resistance line, going above last week's high. And it makes me wonder, is this going to speed up and hit our objective well before the time objective? Which means we're going to have to make revisions of still higher. So this is going to be very interesting how this turns out. Five weeks stochastic turned over for a buy signal coming up out of the sell to model bottom and is trending higher with a widening spread suggesting there's a chance for lingering momentum. Now let's go to the daily chart. S&P 500 cash. And we can see it came down to this trend line for an L3 bottom. Now an L3 is a fraction of those L2, L1 trends I just showed you. And it's what we call the intramonth or short term trend. It lasts a couple days to a couple weeks. This was an L3 downtrend. This was an L3 rally uptrend. And we believe it went sideways or just dipped a little bit into what we call a near non-event, meaning it didn't work for an L3 bottom. And now it's a brand new uptrend that's going to rally from this week into late next week to early following. And we already have an objective of 1640 to 1660 for that trend. And that is well ahead of that June high, meaning we're probably going to have to make revisions and start dialing in as high as 1700 by June. The market could be that strong. Now, working against this here is a little bit concerned. Was this really an L3 bottom? Can there be a little more sharp decline this week? For the moment, the model is saying no, stay bullish. But it is warning of L4 trends, which are a little interweek pops and drops. You can see them here as I trace this out. These are cycle bottoms of L4, very short term interweek pops and drops. The best forecast is there should have been an L4 top last Friday. So far, the S&P hasn't taken that out and made a new high. Maybe some of the other indexes have. But it takes that out. I'd be nervous. Yes, this is going to stay up for a while. But the point is, it can slap down for an L4 bottom today and then get bullish for the rest of the week. Well, how far can it slap down? Well, it could come down to the five-day average around 16.02. And I was hopeful they'd just start right in selling this morning and, and do it. They haven't done it, and it's making me nervous. They just don't care about these cyclical bottoms. It's that strong. It's that intense. And I'm just suspicious that maybe one should ignore these little L4 pops and drops, ignore some of the intraday pops and drops, maybe even call them noise, and just concentrate on the idea that this may be a brand new L3 uptrend all the way through next week and would be an increment of that larger trend that's up into June. Thank you.